गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर नाइन्थ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट सेशन विच इंस्टीट्यूशन लॉन्च्ड द नेशनल मिशन फॉर मैंटरिंग सो द नेशनल मिशन फॉर मैंटरिंग इज एन इनिशिएटिव ऑफ एन सी टी ई एंड द एम इज टू क्रिएट अ पूल ऑफ outstanding professionals who are willing to provide mentoring for the school teachers and promote their professional development okay full form of nct is national council for teacher education and recently it launched nmm in pilot mode in selected 30 central schools across the country so as part of this initiative NCTE has organized a capacity building workshop for total 60 mentors okay so which institution launched the national mission for mentoring answer would be national council for teacher education now can you tell me which institution has notified indian standards that are related to ayush hubs and the product so bureau of indian standards has notified 31 indian standards recently that are related to ayush hubs and the product so it include 30 hubs and one product including a stainless steel neti pot an additional department was earlier established with a dedicated focus on ayush at the bureau of indian standard okay so which institution has notified these standards that are related to ayush herbs and the product so answer would be bis next is which union ministry released the swachh jal se suraksha campaign report so this report was released recently under the jal jeevan mission and the campaign was organized from 2nd of october 2022 to 31st of march 2023 So water quality testing has been reported in 5.39 lakh that means 89.69% villages for chemical and in 4.47 lakh villages means 74.46% of villages for bacteriological contamination okay so this report has been recently released by ministry of jal shakti Which union ministry launched the unified registration portal for Gobardhan? So, union minister for Jal Shakti, who is it, Mr. Gajendra Singh Shekhawat? Recently, he launched the unified registration portal for Gobardhan, and it will act as a one-stop repository to examine the investment and participation in biogas, CBG. sector at the national level okay so it streamlines the process of setting up the cbg or biogas plants in india and any government cooperative or private entity that operates or intends to set up a plant in india can obtain a registration number here fine so which ministry has launched this unified registration portal for gobardhan answer would be ministry of jal shakti Next question is which country signed memorandum of understanding with India for development of Fukot Karnali hydroelectric project So NHPC limited which is a government of India enterprise and VUCL means Vidyut Utpadan Company Limited Nepal have recently signed a memorandum of understanding in New Delhi for development of this Fukot Karnali hydroelectric project in Nepal country and this project will flow from Karnali river to generate power and the generated power will be fed into the integrated power systems of Nepal country okay so which country signed this mou with india for development of fukot karnali hydroelectric project answer would be the country nepal ntpc green energy limited signed memorandum of understanding with which state to collaborate in the development of 
renewable energy projects so a memorandum of understanding was signed recently by the ntpc green energy limited and uttar pradesh rajya vidyut utpadan nigam limited to collaborate in the development of renewable energy parks and the projects okay so this mou also seeks to facilitate renewable energy transition in india and talking about ntpc it is india's largest power utility with a total installed capacity of about 72 gigawatt okay so ntpc green energy limited has signed this mou with uttar pradesh government to collaborate in the development of renewable energy projects where is the mahakal lok corridor located so this mahakal lok corridor was inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi in the year 2022 and it is a part of redevelopment project around the mahakaleshwar temple in the state of madhya pradesh okay so six out of seven idols of saptrishis installed at this mahakal lok corridor have collapsed due to gusty winds and now madhya pradesh lokayukt has taken suomoto cognizance of the damage that gusty winds caused to six statues that were installed as a part of mahakal lok corridor project okay so this corridor is in news because of its redevelopment project and it lies in the state of madhya pradesh which is the first aims to receive nabh accreditation so aims nagpur recently received the national accreditation board for hospitals and healthcare provider accreditation recently and it is the first of all aims to achieve this feat why nabh accreditation is important because it is recognized globally as a standard for healthcare excellence okay what is the full form of nabh it is national accreditation board for hospitals and healthcare providers okay tutan khamun who was seen in the news recently was a king of which country actually research teams from the country australia italy and brazil made the use of a digital model of egyptian king tutan khamun's mummified skull and they managed to recreate the face okay so a team of researchers including forensic expert and anthropologist have created a novel digital reconstruction of the king tutankhamun's face using the advanced technique so tutankhamun is a king from egypt country okay next is remege pant is the first oral medication recommended for which medical condition so the national institute for health and care excellence which is the regulatory body for medicine has given its endorsement for remege pant as the first oral medication that is recommended for migraine disease so now this new medication which is of pfizer would be available on nhs and it will help thousands of migraine sufferers in england okay so this is the first oral medication that has been recommended for migraine which space agency confirmed that an alien signal has been beamed to the earth from mars for the very first time so this is european space agency recently they have confirmed that an alien signal has been beamed to earth from mars for the first time and the trace gas orbiter which is an european space agency spacecraft that orbit the planet mars transmitted a signal and it was received by the four telescope and stations so this transmission is a part of a sign in space transmission project which is an interdisciplinary project by media artist daniela de polis okay so only thing you have to remember is european space agency has confirmed that an alien signal has been beamed to the earth from which planet from planet mars for the very first time training launch of a medium range ballistic missile agni 1 was successfully carried out in which indian state so training launch of medium range ballistic missile agni 1 was successfully carried out by the strategic forces command 
from APJ Abdul Kalam Island in the state of Odisha. So in the month of October last year, India successfully fired Agni Prime, which is a new generation of ballistic missiles from off the coast of Odisha. Okay. So this Agni 1 test was successfully carried out in the state of Odisha. Which Union Ministry implements the PM Swadhidhi scheme? So Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs launched a mobile application for the street vendors to ease their loan application process under the PM Swanithi scheme which completed three years. Okay, So it is a micro credit scheme which was launched by the central government in 2020 to provide hand holding support to the street vendors to tackle the pandemic induced economic stress. Okay, So PM Swanithi scheme is implemented by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, the minister of which is Mr. Hardeep Singh Pul. Which Indian Ministry notified the new rules for anti-tobacco warnings on OTT platform? So the central government has recently notified new norms for anti-tobacco warnings on OTT platform. And these rules now mandate the OTT platforms to carry anti-tobacco warning messages. And Union Health Ministry notification amended the rules under the Cigarettes and Other Tobacco Product Act of 2004. Okay. So now these new rules have been notified by Union Health Ministry. You have to tell me which country has recently mandated to put a warning on their tobacco products. Do let me know in the comment section. Next is which country demonstrated Asia's first performance based navigation for the helicopters. So basically Gagan is an Indian satellite based augmentation system that provides accuracy that is needed to rely on GPS for flight. Okay. And recently Asia's first demonstration of performance based navigation for helicopters was conducted by the country India using the Gagan satellite technology. What is the full form of Gagan? GPS aided GEO augmented navigation. Okay. So your answer would be India. Which article of the Indian constitution requires the state governments to present their budget each year before the legislature. So article 202 of the constitution requires the state governments to present their budget each year before the legislature. And now a new report by think tank PRS legislative research has revealed that on an average 20 states discussed the budgets for eight days in 2022. And state assemblies across the country met for an average of 21 days in 2022. Right? So as per Article 202 of Indian Constitution, each state is required to present their budget every year before the legislature. Right? Kapui National Park, which was seen in the news recently, is located in which country? This national park lies in the country Zambia and it is the third largest national park in Africa. New reports have revealed that loin and leopard population in this region are rebounding after 50 years of poaching. And scientists found leopard densities in southern KNP increased threefold. That means from about 1.5 leopards in 2019 to approximately 4.4 leopards per 100 square kilometers in 2022 okay and this was due to rigorous counter poaching operations for four years okay so Kafue national park lies in the country zambia the helmand river originates in which country so this is the longest river of the country afghanistan and it originates near kabul in the western hindu kush mountain range and after that, it flows in the southwestern direction through desert areas for about 1150 kilometers before it gets emptied into the Lake Hamoun, which spans the Afghanistan Iran border. And why it is the news? Because clashes broke out between Iran and Afghanistan along the border due to dispute over the sharing of water from this 
Helmand River. Okay, so this conflict resulted in killing and wounding of the troops. Okay, so the Helmand River originates in the country Afghanistan. The feasibility of salt cavern based oil storage facility in which state is being studied by the engineers India. So the feasibility and the prospects of the salt cavern based oil storage facility in Rajasthan is being studied by the government owned engineering consultancy firm that is engineers India. Okay. And it will increase India's strategic oil storage capacity once this facility starts functioning and the country's three existing strategic oil storage facilities are Mangaluru, Padur and Vishakhapatnam. Mangaluru and Padur in Karnataka and Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. They are made of excavated rock caverns. Okay, so your answer would be Rajasthan. Gallery test which was seen in the news recently is a blood test capable of detecting which particular disease. So gallery test is a multi-cancer blood test that can detect more than 50 types of cancer and the test effectively detected the tumors in 66.67% of the 5000 people in England and in Wales. So basically in 85% of those positive cases it also pinpointed the original site of cancer and this test looks for distinct changes in the bits of genetic code that leak from different cancers okay so gallery test is a blood test that is capable of detecting the cancer disease mars express is a spacecraft launched by which space agency so it was launched by european space agency in 2003 and now it has exceeded its planned lifespan which offer further insights into the mars geological and atmospheric characteristic also this spacecraft has found evidence of water ice on and beneath the surface and was helping with the other missions like nasa's phoenix and mars science laboratory missions and the visual monitoring camera affixed to the mars express will live stream the happenings on the mars will live stream the happenings on the planet Mars. Okay, so Mars Express is a spacecraft that was launched by European Space Agency. Which country has significantly enhanced the safety of the world's most powerful explosive CL20? So it is the most lethal non-nuclear explosive in existence and a research team in China have recently claimed that they have significantly enhanced the safety of this explosive by designing a five-fold boost to its shock resistance capacity. So recently Chinese defense researchers with the help of 24 hypersonic projectiles sank an entire US aircraft carrier in the South China Sea. Fine. So China has significantly enhanced the safety of the world's most powerful explosive that is CL20. Which country recently passed the patriotic bill that prohibits the criticism of the government prior to elections? So Parliament of Zimbabwe recently passed the patriotic bill that prohibits criticism of the government prior to the presidential and parliamentary elections in the month of August. And the violation of this law would mean imprisonment for up to 20 years and also it criminalizes the speech that harms the country's positive image and integrity or reputation fine so patriotic bill belongs to the country zimbabwe which country approved a law to tackle loneliness and social isolation so parliament of japan has recently approved a legislation to tackle loneliness and social isolation and it will come into effect on 1st of april next year so in a survey conducted by the government in 2022 for people aged 16 or above, it was found that 40.3% of all respondents felt lonely. Okay, so that's why the government of Japan has approved a law to tackle loneliness and social isolation. Which Union Ministry is implementing Vigyan Jyoti Initiative? 
It is a unique week long program that was launched by Department of Science and Technology to address the under representation of women in the different fields of STEM means science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And it witnessed the participation of 160 girls from rural parts of Maharashtra, Bihar and Odisha. So since its launch in 2020, only 30,451 girl students of classes 9 to 12 for higher studies enrolled in this initiative. Okay. So which union ministry implements Vigyan Jyoti initiative? Answer would be Ministry of Science and Technology. Which state or the union territory inaugurated the Shiva Srishti theme park? So Union Home and Cooperation Minister Amit Shah inaugurated the first phase of Shiv Srishti which is a theme park based on the life of Shivaji Maharaj in Pune in the state of Maharashtra. And Maharashtra government recently announced that it will provide 50 crore rupees for the construction of this Shiva Srishti and it will be constructed at the base of Raigad port. Okay. Which country has developed new class of 3D printed alloys that remove the need for aluminium and vanadium? So titanium, six aluminium, four vanadium. This is a titanium alloy that has 6% aluminium and 4% vanadium and it accounts for 50% of the entire titanium market. Scientists in Australia have created a new class of 3D printed alloys that removed the need for aluminium and vanadium and it makes the use of oxygen and iron instead. Fine. So which country has developed a new class of 3D printed alloys? Answer would be Australia. As per the National Statistical Office data, what is India's GDP growth in the January to March 2023 quarter? So India's GDP growth accelerated to 6.1% in January to March 2023 quarter according to the provisional national income data that was released by the NSO and this has lifted the economy's uptick in 2022 to 23 to 7.2% from the 7% estimated earlier and the gross value added in the economy rose to 7% in 2022 to 23 fine so your answer would be 6.1% Next is, which city has successfully tested medication delivery via the drones with collision, avoidance technology and real-time monitoring? So Dubai successfully trials medication delivery via drones with collision avoidance technology and real-time monitoring. And this trial was conducted at Dubai Silicon Oasis in partnership with Faki University Hospital and Dubai program to enable Drone transportation was initiated by Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who is the Crown Prince of Dubai, right? So, which city has successfully tested the medication delivery via the drones that is Dubai? Now, the last question says, which state announces free electricity up to 100 units for all the household? So, Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Mr. Ashok Gehloth, has declared that the families will get free electricity for up to 100 units while a fixed rate for the next 100 units will be provided and the scheme will cover all the sections of the people and it will be effective from 1st of June. If we compare it with the last year, so that year the prices of cooking gas were slashed by more than half to provide 12 cylinders a year at 500 rupees each. Okay, so which state has decided to provide free electricity up to 100 units for all the household that state is Rajasthan okay so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start our revision session from today and this time we'll start with May current affairs and this is part one in the series so today we'll be doing the questions from 1 to 15 which institution prepares the national health account estimates for India so the national health account estimate report is being prepared by the National Health System Resource Center under the Union Health Ministry, right? And recently, the seventh report has been released. That's why it was in news. Big Catch-Up Initiative is launched by which organization? So it is launched by the World Health Organization 
as a part of World Immunization Week and under this program WHO along with other public health organization is working to restore the progress made in the immunization coverage that was lost due to the pandemic how many zero shadow day occurs in a year for places between tropic of cancer and tropics of capricorn so for the people living between 23.5 and minus 23.5 degrees latitude the sun's declination will be equal to their latitude twice so here answer would be 2 as per the recently released energy estimates for india 2019 to 20 which is the share of out of pocket expenditure in total health expenditure so this share has declined from 62.6% to now 47.1% so the continuous decline in this value is observed to be in line with the increased public spending in healthcare which show progress towards universal health coverage in india spheroidal carbonaceous particle is a component of it is a component of fly ash as per a recent study trees and crops endemic to which country have higher air pollution tolerance index answer would be india basically this index is a tool that is used to examine the tolerance capacity of crop or tree species against the air pollution and a new study has found that certain trees and crops endemic to india have higher apti recently the second deepest blue hole was discovered off the coast of yucatan peninsula in which country so it lies in the country mexico and here second deepest blue hole was discovered piaro soma arnachalensis which was recently discovered belongs to which species it is a new species of moth that was found in the state of arnachal pradesh which state or the union territory launched the 5t school transformation program answer would be odisha state who is the current chief minister of odisha mr navin patnaik and recently he launched the third phase of the 5t school transformation program and it will help to equip the schools with modern technology e library and laboratories which institution released the promoting millets in diets report it is a report from niti ayog which company has been recently upgraded to the status of Navratan CPSC in May 2023? First of all, what are the Navratan companies? They are the public sector companies that are given financial autonomy to invest up to 1000 crore rupees without the Indian government's approval. Okay. And the Union Finance Ministry has recently upgraded the status of Rail Vikas Nigam Limited from Category 1 Mini Ratna to now Navratna central public sector enterprise which institution has launched the liquid nano dye ammonia phosphate in india answer would be ifco which term denotes the extremely luminous and powerful active galactic nucleus it is known as quasar but this question can be avoided it is not at all important which it is the host of united nations permanent forum on indigenous issues so the host for this event is new york as of 2023 what is the interest rate on deposits made under Mahila Samman Saving Certificate account? So as per the Mahila Samman Saving Certificate, the interest rate on deposits made under this program is 7.5% per year. Also recently, Smriti Rani opened the Mahila Samman Saving Certificate. Right? So these are the important 15 questions from the month of May and tomorrow we will continue it. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and these were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahad signing off.